Well, it's a while since I've done one of these little chats. So it's a while since you've been bored, folks. So I thought, fair dues. You can't go through your life being entertained religiously all the time. So I'm going to do a little snack chat. How are we, girls? Come on, Penny. Roxy, come here. While I have a snack. Penny, come on. Hounds are with me. It's a few months since we've actually been up here. The weather has been quite horrendous this year, to be fair. But we've had some nice days lately. So I would fill you in on what I plan to do. Or Carla and I plan to do. Behind me, to over my this post here, there's a couple of thorns right up on the far hillside. There's ballast sail. As I was saying on the uh, video before there, this is Bella Sail. And this footpath goes a little right past it. There's three Highland cows around it. There's another one a little bit further to the right of it, which is now just a pile of stones. You see where the guy called Stanley Quirk lived. And he moved from that little spot there over the hill to um, the side of Greba. He remembers it happening. And he's still alive. Lots of stories people tell you about Stanley Quirk. That's Bella Sail. Footpath comes down past Bella Himmin and ends up on the track that goes back down to Greba. So it's definitely worth having a go at. Done a video on that a few months ago. Look it up on YouTube. And behind me you can't see, but behind me on the hillside there's one called Bella Ellerton, which we're going to do. It's got quite an interesting tale too. And this one, which we're going to do sometime, is called Bella Ellison or Bella Ellis. Um, it was farmed well, on its own in the late 18, well, late middle 1800s, and advertised for sale once as well. But we'll do a bit more story with that when we actually visit it. So uh, that's on private property, folks. So don't be trespassing on that one. But in a few days, we plan to go to um, Dream Beery along the Governor Locks Road and we'll discuss a bit about that and a bit of the history up there what's going on I also just shoved a little video in about my sheep they've done quite well again this year they do like the sunshine they do like the uh, lack of wind it's my problem but that's a personal issue this is this year's lamb it's born there uh, middle late April a bunch of singles in this field done very well if you want to buy meat that had no very little chemical involvement lamb would be the stuff to beat I would say I don't have any um, sprays up here I don't use much fertilizer hardly any just lime basically the thing I use up here is the thing called click now and again and if you've ever seen lambs or sheep eaten by a maggot, you'd know why farmers use it to deter flies. They'll be um, going to market probably the end of August, early September. They're sort of going with eight. Weight is about 42, 44 kilos. Produces 20 odd kilos of good meat. These are exlaners, they don't need fleecing. No shearing. They're, kind of, they're what they call a composite breed of Ultra Horn and a couple of others who were traditionally bred for not having the wool. Originally sheep never were decided to have wool because like all animals they normally shed but wool was valuable one time. I used to say to folks when we farmed on a farm there in the 70s we had 150 sheep and the price of the fleece used to pay for the farm rent. This year you hardly get enough money paid for the fleece to justify the shearing. So until the price of all changes, I will not be changing my flock. We do live in turmoil or tumultuous times, do we not? We've got a president in America who can hardly speak. He's planned to sit another term. We've got our politician to discuss her sister dying. I'd hate to be on that panel. Well, there must be room for um, abuse. You'd hope they get it sorted out. And you've got our new Labour government, 
which is probably a Tory government in disguise, with Mr Keir Starmer, I've not have heard some strange rumours about him as well. So all in all, the world is a bit fractious, I think. That and the ongoing war in Ukraine. Who knows where we're going to end up. But here in the Isle of Man, we're a bit sheltered from that type of world, I feel. As much as it's uh, bad for some people, I think we're a bit immune to it. That's not always a good thing either. The agricultural shows are coming up. Well, Dad used to always say, once the shows are over, the summer's finished. But these days I've noticed the weather seems to change and we do get some nice weather later in the year. So let's hope it continues. The um, Timwell Fair Day was as good as ever. I unfortunately drank a bit too much. I remember going to the fair, but I actually don't remember going home from the fair. I don't know if somebody can fill in the blanks for me. And um, what else happened? TT, of course. Oh, fabulous year this year, nobody killed. Some severe injuries, but nobody killed. It's quite astonishing with the speeds they get up to. In a few weeks, we've got the Southern 100, and then we've got the um, MGP. And the summer then will be finished, I suppose. Carl and I are planning to go away for two or three days, going back to her, where her parents came from. Got some plans afoot for that, and we've got plans for ourselves later in the year as well. So keep in touch or keep with us. We've also got to do some other Thaltons we've been allowed to do. with two or three on the Starry Road, which have a fabulous history we're going to get to. And then there's a couple up in the Croit in Thalty Will, which I'd like to have a go at. And the hardest one to get to be the Block Erie. We plan to do that, but maybe when it's not quite so hot. The pen, uh, Roxy's feeling the heat. Are you, Rox? Come on, Pen. Come and say hello to the folks. Come on. I've just had my snack, my pork pie, while my tea is cooking. The dogs are looking around for their own snacks, aren't you, girls? Um, I've got the fields all topped. They look well again. The rushes are slowly dying by my continually topping them with the mower. I don't want to use chemicals a bit, I don't want to use sprays. I don't like it. I don't... The spray I use is a fly deterrent on the sheep. Other than that, it's pretty natural up here. The water too comes from the fields. It's not piped in. And it looks idyllic up here today. I'm sure folks you are thinking, God, he's a lucky man to be up there, but you need to be up here in December. And you can't get out of the shack because the wind takes the door out of your hand. But hey, it's my choice. In the girls, it's my choice. So rather than boy you any longer, I'll just get on with my tea and you folks can get your tea and uh, it'll be launched out on YouTube in a few weeks. So why don't you um, enrol on YouTube, we've got 700 plus now subscribers, 80 videos for the Isle of Man, mostly Thalton's but Glens as well and little walks and there's places you never see advertised or published and I always think the Isle of Man is so much more than a TT race or a Manx cat. We don't publish it. I don't suppose there's any money in it. I don't get paid to do it. I do it because I want to do it, because I love the place. If I got paid, there'd be somebody else's opinion and somebody else's um, viewpoint. I don't want that. So, as it is, we're pretty free agents, both of us, really, Carl and I. And uh, we'll just move on. Let the world move past us. So, if you've viewed and enjoyed it, call back again. There'll be more to see in the future, I'm hoping. I did download a probing form on my phone called the Merlin and it like recognises bird sounds which is fascinating. I sat up here early one morning, a very still morning, I had 16 different birds talking. I couldn't see one of them. Just amazing how busy it is. The swallows have been back again this year. Always astonishes me. 6,000 miles to find the same place. I can always find my way home from Peel. Always about when there's food here, aren't you, you two? You think you're going to get something? Do you really think you're going to get something? Have we been good enough? These are two sheep dogs. And they live amongst sheep. And they never ever go near them. So it's just amazing and I'm grateful for. 
They never run away. They always stay around up here if I forget to lock them in, don't you girls? They have a good life, I feel. Don't you? You do? Anyway, I thought I bored you enough now. Go and get your tea, as I said, and call back soon. Carl and I will welcome you with open arms. I do like my fairy cakes, though. <laughs>